Hey guys, it is Saturday evening here in West Virginia, and Ethan and I are here to unbox some E-Case cars for you. Say hi, Ethan. Hi. All right, so these are the cars that we picked up yesterday at Walmart, that brief in-store hunt video we did for you guys. This is what we found. Actually, we added some more to our cart after we did that video for Ethan, for his collection. As you can see, that's what we have here. We have about 16 pieces that we're going to unbox for his collection. And we did get lucky, and we got a bunch of extras of the S15, the Tune Silverado, and the regular Silverado. That's why I'm coming to the conclusion that I was the first one on the scene, and that they unboxed uh, three cases, or stocked three cases, I should say, because we found three regular treasure hunts of the Draft Nader, we found three green Silverados, and we found six S15s and six tuned 83 Silverados. So, that's telling me that there were uh, three cases, meaning two tuned ones of 83 Silverados and two S15s per case. So, anyways, um... We didn't find a Super, unfortunately. We found a lot of regular Studebaker pickups, but no Super. Um, so we do uh, have some extras. If somebody's looking for like an 83 Silverado tuned or a regular green one or the S15s, let me know. I got them. I can let you have them for three bucks each if you want them. Uh, we are keeping one loose and one carded of the tuned and the green Silverados and such. But first, we got to get them loose to have a loose one. So let's start taking a look at them. Uh, we do have one extra Enterprise too. We should have got the one that was messed up on the card. There was another one there with a crushed card. I don't know why I didn't buy it. Should have because that would have been the great one to open. But Anyways, we're going to go ahead and rip this one, and then uh, we do have an extra one. If anybody needs one, let me know. And anyways, let's go ahead and get this guy open. This is a USS Enterprise NCC-1701. This is HW Screen Time Series. Haven't seen this guy for quite a while, since I think it was like 2012 or 2013 was the last time I seen this guy in the main line. So, let's get him open. Ethan, go ahead and do the honors and rip that guy open. Can you do it? All right, you did it. Pretty good. Oh, it's got another plastic insert in there. He ripped it open and it wouldn't come out. It's got another plastic shell inside. That helped hold it in place. So, it uh, the stand is separate. So, it does come with this nifty little display stand. It's kind of shaped like the Star Trek emblem. The guy's head on their shirt, and it has a little, like, spot where it goes there. And then the guy will just set, like so, on the table. <laughs> Nicely detailed. Um, it is quite a heavy little casting, too, for what it is. And these are plastic, I guess the engines. And then the whole main body is metal. Even this bottom piece here is metal. Nice detail on it. So, uh, yeah, the pretty cool one. I used to have a bunch of the first edition ones when I was collecting first time around, but I got rid of them and such. Uh, so kind of cool to have another one in the collection for Ethan, at least. He can pretend he's flying around in outer space. So going along to another one we have here is the first gen Mazda RX-7. Haven't seen him for... A while too. Um, I think it, though it had been out a couple different times. I just haven't been much into the main lines until well, I had Ethan, and now we're collecting them for him. So this is the HWJ Imports. So I guess Japan Imports is what it stands for. So pretty nice looking in this blue with the tampos are nice, kind of conservative, not overdone on the rocker bottom of the door i should say so pretty nice looking car go ahead and get this one ripped open for us too ethan all right that one was pretty easy to open up huh Here you go. thank you buddy so nice looking car uh lacking tail light tampos and such just have to flip up headlights so that i can overlook but it is lacking the marker light tampos and stuff stuff like that but still yet yeah, not bad so a little modified compared to like a stock yeah. first yeah. gen it does have flares a little bit of a wide body front yeah. chin spoiler yeah. and a bigger 
wing on the back that kind of wraps around. But still nicely done. I actually like the look of this better than a bone stock first gen. So, there's that one. So, next on the list is something that we're going to see a lot of in the future, unfortunately, because I am a combustion engine kind of guy. But this is your Nissan Leaf Nismo RC02. So, pretty cool, I guess, if that's what you're into. Uh, I do have a respect for Tesla, and I do appreciate stuff that they're doing, and the Nissan Leaf, uh, I was not a big fan of, but this one's pretty cool, actually. So if I had to get the Nissan Leaf, this would definitely be the one, the Nismo. So this comes from the HW Green Speed. I'm sure there's probably a lot of Teslas in this series. <laughs> so anyways, let's get him ripped open. Go ahead and do the honors on this one too, Ethan. These E-Case cars... Uh, act like they don't have such good glue on them compared to the F case. Maybe that's why they doubled up on glue on the F case because these are really easy to open. So here you go. It doesn't have any kind of detail in the front, but neither does real electric cars to be honest with you, but they did have some headlight tampo or something. Nothing back here for tail lights. And it does have some livery on the side of the vehicle. Not bad looking. Has a high wing on it. So as I said, for a Nissan Leaf, this is tolerable. So not bad. So another one that's a classic casting. Actually, was a treasure hunt at one point in time. The La Troca. Uh, probably was a treasure hunt about 20 years ago. I think in 02 or 03, something like that. And it was yellow uh, and white. So this one I haven't seen in the lineup for a while. Pretty cool casting. Nice to see these old school, like low rider type trucks. Here, Ethan, you want to open this one for me, buddy? Let's get the La Troca out and take a look at him. Another one that's pretty easy to open, huh? All right, so... That is your La Troca. Nice heavy casting. It is plastic based though. Um, and this truck, it came out. Well, they're doing a copyright 2020 on the base of it. So, not sure they must have revamped the casting, uh, retooled it or something. But yeah, this is an older one. Uh, pretty cool. Casting reminds me of the old school of riders with the fender skirts on the truck with the visor, this pattern style paint job. Even the lace style gold wheels kind of resembles like a wire spoke or something like that. So that is pretty cool. So nice one to have in Ethan's collection. So next is one of the anticipated ones of this case, which would be the tuned Silverado looks a little bit goofy, but hey, all of them do. Uh, I think the most tastefully done one is the Batmobile, actually, and then the Twin Mill, which we haven't got that one yet, but those two are pretty tastefully done. Uh, this one looks a little bit crazy with that really, really tall roof, but not bad. Uh, not bad. Yeah, not too bad, huh, Ethan? So let's get him cracked open, Ethan, and take a look at him. Thank, thank you, buddy. So, cute little guy. Uh, has the roll bar in it. Nice detail. Tampo is on the tail lights. Um, kind of no detail on the grill, but it is part of the chrome interior bucket. Chromed out, big blowing and injected engine. And little tiny five spoke wheels, like the uh, little truck from. Rayu's uh, collection. Uh, I forget what they called it. Uh, but anyways, it also has the wheels like the go-kart casting used to have. Has chrome side pipes and stuff. So, not a bad looking little truck. Um, yeah, so, it is what it is. I'm not a fan of it. I like the old like Railer, Silverado, like this guy here, and we'll do him next, what the hell, since we're on the Silverados. So this is the latest release of this 83 Silverado. Like the paint job on this, not too bad. Uh, looks like something that you'd see on a custom truck. So pretty cool. Um, now let's get him open and take a look at him. 
So, there we go. Not much has changed since this casting was released back in the early 2000s. Um, nice looking with these, like, FTE style five spokes. The cutout bed for the C-notch frame. The air tank for the air ride. So, pretty cool. Still, they have not added tail light details, which is a disappointment. So, not a bad looking truck, but still... Not enough tampos to make it look really, really good. So if they would have done tail lights and do something with this grill, that would be awesome. So, moving along, let's do Bone Shaker. And this is a pretty cool, it's done in like a brown color. Almost looks black, but if you hit it in the right light, maybe it's a red pinstriping that makes it look brown. I don't know. Wait till we get it out and we'll make a final decision on that. So, this is from the HW Dream Garage. So, let's get him ripped open, Ethan, and take a look at him. Yeah, you didn't open the Silverado. Here you go. So, here's Bone Shaker, and it is black. It looks to be with the red pinstriping, so it's kind of an illusion of the red reflecting off the black, I guess. So, pretty cool. Like these wheels, they kind of look like Mopar Rally wheels a little bit. And the red trim on the wheel looks pretty good. This golf front grill is always cool. Trademark of this guy. So, do dig the bone shaker. Now, moving along, the Batmobile, the tuned one. Well, we already have this guy open. We did in the past. We just picked up a couple more of them to have them. So, we're going to just show you guys the one that we have unboxed. So, if somebody needs one of them, please let me know in the comments or find me on instagram this is your tuned batmobile and this guy is like super fast on the track he does an outstanding job on the track um very nicely detailed like this guy a lot actually as i said before probably my favorite tuned vehicle so far released from hot wheels so a really cool one then we have this japanese style rig here the Ragin Express. So pretty cool. Looks like a transformer to me. Uh, this is in the HW Art Cars. So let's get him ripped open. Ethan, here you go. Get him open for me. That is another one of Rio's rides. Ryu's or Ru's rides. So here it is. It is a plastic body ride with a metal base. And a very small metal base. So this thing is predominantly plastic. The Enterprise, I think, weighs as much as this thing. So, not um, the heaviest, most well done casting. But all the details on it, I guess it had to be molded in plastic to have this defined body like this. It does have some really cool sculpted edges on it. Pretty cool. With Japanese writing and such. It's like a diamond plate look to the back of it. So, pretty cool casting. I have a feeling Ethan's going to break this one right away. It's <laughs> this way it fills. Uh, so, moving along is another one we unboxed in our F-Case feature. Um, and that's why I got a little bit confused, because as you can see, it, I guess, was first debuted in the E case. So, there you have the E on the serial number. But, I have another one here, and this one came from my F case finds the other day. As you can see up there, it says F case on the tab. The end at the F, that's how you know which case it is. So, this is our E case, this is our F case release. So, if you really, really, really want to be specific about it, this is actually the first release of it here, the E case. This would have been the second run of it because it's the F case. But anyways, and they're releasing it again later this year, which I probably will not hoard them the way I am because they didn't make this yet. Yellow with white inserts. As far as I know, LBWK did not release it like that. It's only been in the white with the yellow inserts. So, um, yeah, that's why I hoarded this one because it's just like the car that they have. So we already have one of these open, and let's go ahead and show them this car. And we showed you guys this the other day. Looks great with all the livery on it. Spot on to the LBWK. It has like a plastic headlight that's part of the windshield. 
insert. And the wheels are kind of like a five spoke looking wheel. Has tail lights also that is part of the interior. So they did a fine job with like trying to detail this car. So when this comes out later on this year in the premium lineup, the car culture stuff, I am going to buy a few of them if I can find them. Really looking forward to it. Great looking casting. Love how they made the lights part of the window bucket, window insert, whatever you'd like to call it. Cast it in side mirrors. So this is going to make a heck of a nice premium car when they do release it. So pretty cool. I'm going to do some pics of this later next to the Eno Resin ER34. So that way you can see them together. That's the two like wide body silhouette creations that came from LBWK. So we'll do that later on on Instagram. And I left the link for Instagram in the description of the video. So moving along, we're getting ready to run out of time. So we got to hurry up with this. So we have the S2000. This is another Rio's Rides. So let's get this cracked open. That is also from the J Imports, which would be the Japan Imports. So nice to see the S2000 again in just a different color. The yellow has the PR5 style wheels. Nice detail with the emblems, the headlight tampos, and also taillight tampos. So really, really a nice looking car for a main line. Really great job by Hot Wheels with all the tampo work and stuff for headlights, emblems, and such. So fantastic job on this for a main line. Hats off to Hot Wheels. So pretty nice casting. So another one is another Japan cult car culture thing. The Mad Manga. This is a pretty cool casting. Ethan has one of these that came with the truck that kind of resembles the, the Raygen hauler. And anyways, we're going to pop him out. This has the Hot Wheel Racing livery. This is the HW Contoured. So let's get him out and take a look at him. Here you go, Ethan. Get him ripped open for us. So here you go. It has those big stack style organ pipe exhaust tips like that type of Japan car culture has. It has a cage in it, as you can see through the back window. Pretty cool detail. Big side skirts and front chin spoiler spot on to the Japan car culture thing. This looks like it's based on like maybe a laurel, uh, something like that. Or, I don't know, probably not the C210. Probably the Laurel is what it looks like. Has the big pointy nose on the hood kind of stretch out. So, the guys that do the custom work on these do a great job. They have great artistic ability. I'm just not a fan of this type of car customizing. But it does look pretty cool for some. So there is that Mad Manga. Then next is the treasure hunt of the E-Case. This is the Draft Nader. And this one I'm kind of oop, kind of curious to see how well he does on the track later. So we're going to get him out on the track. It does say best for track up here. So we'll find out. So this is from HW Speed Team. So it is a plastic body metal base it looks like. So let's get him out and take a look at him. We're going to rip that open Ethan. All right, cool. So, yeah, it is a plastic body and metal base. So, it'll be kind of interesting to see how well he does on the track. Yeah. So, it doesn't weigh very much. Yeah. So, pretty cool. Says Speed Team on the side. The livery has the orange tires with like the rallies I said I kind of like they look like Mopar rallies so pretty cool so we'll see how well he does on the track the grill looks like a 60 I don't know maybe like a 69 C10 something like that kind of or even an FJ Cruiser kind of hard to say but it is a fantasy car and pretty light 
Probably just like that guy. Kind of curious to see how he does on the track since it's all the bottom weight seems to make the cars go a little bit faster. So we have three left. Next one is the Corvette C8. So doesn't have nothing on the Auto World or the uh, Mini GT, but it does have casted in side mirrors, which is impressive. Does have headlight and tail light details. So pretty cool that they went through that. I would love to have got the super of this car because I like the wheel choice that they use, the big five spokes, uh, the newer style one they came out with a couple years ago. So I would love to have got the super of this. So still not counting it out because sometimes the dollar stores get the older releases. So we still may have a chance. This is from Factory Fresh Series from Hot Wheels. So get him ripped open, Ethan. Let's take a look at him. All right. So, here's your C8, and it has the PR5 style wheels. Alrighty, guys, sorry, you had a little bit of a glitch there. We ran out of time, we had to add more time and erase some videos. So, anyways, let's take a look at our last two. We have the 70 Chevelle Wagon, and one more brief look at the C8. That's the one that we kind of got a little bit... Uh, cut off on but i was just showing you the headlight tampos tail light tampos things like that pretty nice casting it has a cast it in mirrors and such so let's take a look at the 70 chevelle oh, oh man <laughs> so anyways this comes from our hw wagons this is pretty probably a pretty cool series so i gotta see what else is in this lineup there are five of them so let's get this guy ripped open and take a look at him you want to get him open for me ethan here you go, rip that guy open. All right. Oh, he went flying. Okay, there thank you. you. Thank you, buddy. It's so it is flying. done in a blue with white stripes, kind of almost like the original 70 Chevelle SS blue. I forget what they called that. It wasn't Marina blue, but I forget the name of it. So another one with like the FTE style wheels. Tasteful graphics, but still would like more conservative with just one plain color with maybe SS stripes on it. No tail light tampos, no headlight tampos. That's another casting that should have some more details to it. But, oh well, not a bad casting though. So last but not least is the Mercedes-Benz 500E. This is from the Factory Fresh series, another one. So pretty cool looking in the red. Uh, let's get him out and take a look at him, Ethan. Here you go. You want to finish ripping him out of there for me? Yeah, I'm trying to hold the phone now instead of using this makeshift camera stand. You Thank you, buddy. So this is another casting that is finally done. Cast it in side mirrors. Nice grill and headlight details. Um, actually, really nice done. Nicely done with the headlight and grill tampos. Front plate tampo. Nice tail light tampos. The Mercedes emblem, even Hot Wheel logo on the plate. So really nice casting, actually. Looks good with the same size diameter wheels all the way around. So another like tastefully done car from Hot Wheels. So that is the last one. So there are the cars that we have for you guys today. So we unboxed, I think, a total of 16, two repeats, but hey, they're all still pretty cool castings. We will be back maybe later in the week, or, well, I'm sorry, later in the weekend, maybe tomorrow, or early next week with a recap on, like, what I'm still collecting, because I still do collect, but I have been eliminating a lot of stuff. Keep telling you guys I'm going to do that video because I don't have anything else to unbox, but then we keep finding new stuff to unbox. So we'll just keep postponing it if we have stuff that's new to unbox for you. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you next time. Say bye, Ethan. Bye. Bye. <laughs>